Hi everybody. So I am doing another microphone video. This time it is the Sharper Image, what I call ball mic. Uh, I had, I've had this since about 2018, I guess, something like that. I can't remember where I bought it, Walmart or Ollie's. Don't remember why I paid for it, but if I look online, I'm finding it for about 16 bucks, free shipping on eBay. I'm surprised it's that you can still find it. I'm sure they're not making them anymore. Exi at least exactly like this one. I'm finding it listed as the Sharper Image USB Studio Collapsible Microphone. Because it uh, just kind of folds around like that. Like so. And then you can adjust the head. I did see a person on making a video reviewing this a couple of days ago and uh, he didn't like when he unfolded it was pointing down and what he apparently didn't realize is you can swivel the head up towards you. So today I'm gonna do plug it into the sound and uh, we're going down inside this microphone. I'm gonna open it up and show you what it's built like. So first we're going to swap over to this mic. Oh, right now I am using the Vivitar uh, USB microphone. I have a video on this mic as well. Uh, you'll hear also hear, hear the uh, Sharper Image microphone in that video. So let me swap these over real quick and... Uh, We'll see how she sounds, and I'll show you the inside of this microphone. I hope it's not picking up the fan noise in the computer. This fan in this computer is kicking on right now. I hope that doesn't get irritating in the video. So we're on the round mic, I'm going to say, sharper image microphone now. So we'll, I'll do a couple of sound tests. Uh, like right now the mic is sitting in about the same position as the Vivitar mic was uh, Pointing toward me. We're gonna do a, th a 360 on this because I want to go into something that I found that's not true about this when we tear it apart So now it is pa Facing uh, 45 degree angle from me and I'm talking the same level voice. Now, the back of it's pointed toward me. I even tilted. So, okay, now it's tilted where the back should be able to hear me at its best. And of course, pointing that way. And back at me so let's get into the photos and tell you what this thing is like so here is the microphone split in half you take a screw off the uh, arm off the mounting arm and take the ball off the top basically and three screws and you split it open I was surprised to find anything metal on this microphone. On the Vivitar, the only thing metal I could find was a screen. <laughs> but this, in the mic is actually mounted to metal. And uh, it will show you something a little bit more on that just a second here. Here's a picture of the front with the foam. And with the foam out, you can see there is a metal screen. And there is one in the back as well. Now here is the back of the condenser microphone element. Now I could be wrong, but uh, I seen the ads on uh, eBay saying this was a twin condenser microphone. I don't believe that's true. And even if it is, it seems to me there's a design flaw in this thing because a twin condenser microphone, you're not gonna have the same output if 
one side is a totally different design than the other side. I mean, in the back, it looks nothing like the front. Actually, I'll show you. There's the front. And there's the back. So, even at that, twin condenser would be a flaw. You'd want both sides to be the same because you'd want sound to be equal from both directions. Now here's one thing that did surprise me, is, is you can see the front of the uh, condenser mic element there, it's in the center in the, with the black felt over it. It is actually setting in rubber, and it, that rubber goes out three ways to some uh, hard plastic uh, pin sticking out, and then you got foam behind that. which I was really surprised to see that. It, like in the Vivitar, it has no shock absorber at all in it. This mic actually has like a, a shock uh, mount to it. The Vivitar was just a solid mount to the plastic body. And as you can see here where the uh, screws went through actually has rubber. So the uh, plate and the microphone is actually insulated from the outer casing, which I found that surprised. I, you know, it's small pieces of rubber. It may not do much, but it is there. Here you can see it again, the whole uh, thing there, the three mounts, plastic mounts and uh, the element mounting the, on the, the shock mount. Basically, that's what that's called, shock mounting. There is where the ball mounts to the stand. Uh, just, it was a screw went through there. You mount it, and it does uh, hold where you put it. It doesn't flop around or anything. And there is the mic from the front. Like I was talking about the front grill. There's the back grill. And I noticed on this one, the USB port is uh, like the old printer port. That is the end of the USB cable that comes came with the mic. It is, I'll check the length on that, probably three, four feet long, I'm thinking. There is a light on the top of it to let you know it is working. So as far as the construction of the microphone, it is plastic, but I'm uh, surprised by the uh, metal and the mount and the shock mount, I didn't expect that when I opened this up. I figured it would just be a, a mic element pretty much basically mounted in a piece of plastic. As far as this being twin element, I'm not buying it. Uh, that element does not look like a twin element to me. I could be wrong, but even if it is a twin element, that's in my mind, that's the design flaw overall anyway. Possibly this one was made before the ones that I'm seeing listed on eBay and they do are actually twin element, but uh, I don't think this one is. So let me know what you think about the sound of this microphone, uh, the build quality, you know, it is plastic. It's a cheap mic. I think uh, I probably at the most paid 16 bucks for it when I bought it years ago, maybe 20. I just wanted a microphone that sounded better than the built-in one on the computer I was using at the time, which really sucks. So, and I uh, bought this and used it a couple of times. I do have some other microphones coming that I want to test out and do a video on. Uh, me, I've got to do a YouTube on a budget, so maybe if it's like if you're like me. And you need to do everything on a budget. Maybe I can help you out here somehow. Let you know what you think you might want to buy and what you might not want to buy. I will not give my opinion. I want you to, to uh, make up your own mind and don't let me influence you in any way. So thanks for watching. Have a good day. Catch you later. Bye, y'all.